Hello everyone, Kai here from Cedars Nature Centre. Well done everyone for finding this clue. I hope you're enjoying the trail that we're doing here. Now your next video is about poison dart frogs. And now I hope you enjoy the video and make sure you stick it out right to the end because there will be another clue going on to your next location. Happy Halloween. So we are going to be talking about poison dart frogs on this clue. Now, poison dart frogs, as you know, are amphibians. And there are around 10,000 different types of amphibians across the world. About 80% of them are frogs, and they include our poison dart frogs. Now, there are about 100 different types of poison dart frogs, and in each type, there is actually lots of different variations, so different spots, different colours, even if they're slightly different. So there's over, there's over probably over 2,000 different types of poison dart frog. Now the ones we've got as cedars are blue poison dart frogs and they are one of the, the bigger species of poison dart frog. I don't know if any of you have been to the zoo before. They are recently new. Um, you might be able to see them hopping around. We actually have three different um, individuals, different animals. They are all boys and they're around about two years old now. They can get up to about 10 years old though, which is actually really old for something that small if you think about it. Now the blue poison dart frog is found in a tiny, tiny area of Brazil in the Amazon rainforest. And even though they live on the ground, they're actually really, really good climbers. So you often you will see them quite high up in the, the trees. Not, not very high up because obviously they are frogs. They don't have um, monkey tails and monkey arms, but they will climb quite high up. Um, and that's mainly to catch all of the insects or to find mates or to fight off other um, sort of males that are trying to get into their area. So the most well-known thing about poison dart frogs is their poison. And if you ever come to cedars, then you absolutely have nothing to worry about with our frogs because they are not poisonous and most of the time they aren't poisonous in captivity. Because in the wild, they eat lots of different insects and beetles and some of them actually contain their own sort of toxins and poison to fight off other predators. So when the, po when the poison dart frogs eat them, then they gradually develop their own poison in their skin. Now the most poisonous poison dart frog in the world is one called the golden poison dart frog. And they're also called poison arrow frogs because a lot of tribes in South America actually use them to, to scrape on their arrows to shoot things and kill other animals that they want to eat. And about one single frog, which is absolutely tiny, can kill about 12 human beings, which is a very, very scary fault. In the past, amphibians, especially frogs, have featured in a lot of Halloween books and films about sort of like a witch and, and then boiling the toads and the frogs to make their little potions. But... Amphibians and frogs are actually very, very vital for the health of our environment. So in the park, we actually have four different types. We have the common toad, we have the common frog, we have the smooth newt and the palmate newt as well. And they're very important to keep our, our water levels right and also to prey on all the insects. Otherwise, there'd be insects absolutely everywhere and that would be horrible and not good for anything. I hope you've learned a lot about poison dart frogs and also the different amphibians that we have in the park and I wish you all the best for the rest of your Halloween trail.